An important piece of Velocity is alarm management, which is provided through the alarm viewer. Here, an operator can acknowledge and clear alarms, create and view alarm notes, and view alarm instructions. Acknowledging alarm stops the alarm sound on the workstation and provides the operator with the ability to manage alarms in a more low-stress environment if desired. To acknowledge an alarm, simply click on the alarm in the alarm viewer. So we'll see that there is a passback violation for a specific user at the front door. And all the operator will need to do to acknowledge this is click the green check mark. Once acknowledged, that alarm will move to the acknowledged pane below. And if the operators would like to acknowledge all alarms that are in this top pane, they simply just have to click the green check mark with the green plus sign. That will move, that will acknowledge all of the alarms here in the top pane and move it to the lower pane. Clearing alarms remove the alarm from the secondary window for the acknowledged window, so those alarms are no longer seen. So if the operator is finished with them, no longer needs to see these alarms, uh, all the operator needs to do is again, select the specific alarm and then click the pencil to clear the selected. If the operator would like to clear all alarms, all they need to do is click the pencil with the green plus sign. And all of those alarms will disappear from there. Alarm notes can be used to provide context on what happened with an alarm. The operator can include information such as, this is a false alarm, John came in near the rear door instead of the front door. So let's take a look at how to add that. I'll select the alarm here. We'll just choose alarm input rear door. Now, all the operator needs to do is right click on the alarm, select add an operator note. It's optional to select an alarm response and just say, John used the wrong door. And select OK. And now to view that note for this alarm, all the operator will need to do is select the yellow piece of paper with the magnifying glass to show the notes pane. And now the notes are located there. And click on that and the notes will populate down below. Alarm instructions can be used to tell an operator what to do in case of an alarm. Instructions can be used to tell the operator where to go, what to do, who to contact, and anything else that's deemed necessary by the operator or the administrator. In this case, it could be, in the event of an alarm, call 911, alert John through text, lock the back door, and open your camera so you can view the site to make sure that you will be safe and you can relay information to the authorities as needed. To view alarm instructions, we'll use the same alarm here. So once the alarm for the input at rear door is highlighted, all the operator needs to do is select the white piece of paper with the magnifying glass to pull up the instructions pane. The instructions can be set within the customization manager, which we will review in just a little bit.